greetings from DNRT, APCO National University. Uh, today, now we are going to see the spatial maps depicting HIV AIDS facilities and relevant data of District Korapu, Odisha. Uh, data is a representation uh, is of, from April 2010 to 31st March 2011. So, we are proceeding further. Uh, this is a map which shows us uh, details of the neighboring uh, states. As we could see here, on our right side, we have Andhra Pradesh uh, on one border, and we also have Chhattisgarh. And this is the uh, district that we're talking about, Korapu, our district. The maps that we're going to see now further. So here is the national highway passing by. Here it is, 201 and 443. Here it passes through Kot Pahad, Kohikuma, Koraput, and then comes out through Kotang and goes into Andhra Pradesh. So we are now going to see the ICTC maps. So this is how our ICTC facilities are spread across the district in 14 mandals. So as we could see, we have PPP ICTCs in Koraput, that is our district headquarters. Then we also have standalone ICTCs, which are uh, the ICTCs run by SACS directly. We have such ICTCs in 10 mandals, as you could see by Padigura, Goriguma, Kotpar, etc. And we also have facility integrated ICTCs. Uh, four such facilities are existing in Koraput district one at uh, Lamtaput, one in Koraput, one in Jaipur, and one in Khum. So, we proceed further here, and we don't have any uh, mobile ICTCs over here in this district. So these are the two districts wherein we don't have any ICTCs: Narayan Patna and Panduga. Block-wise ICTCs without HIV testing in Koraput district. So this is a district uh, map which shows very clearly what are the mandals where we do not have. Uh, an ICTC which is functional. Uh, I mean, we, uh, as per the map that we are seeing here, we have ICTCs here in Kundra, Paiparigoda, Lamtapu, Rasmanpur, and Rasmanpur. But however, the ICTCs are non functional. For instance, Paiparigoda and uh, Rasmanpur, Lakshmipur have a standalone ICTC. Whereas in uh, Kundra and Lamtapu, we have a uh, facility integrated ICTC. However, all these five blocks, in spite of having a ICTC, they are non functional for various reasons. So we proceed further. This is the block wise distribution of uh, HIV positive people diagnosed. So, as we could see, the district headquarters uh, also has a lot of cases, but incidentally, here Jaipur, uh, which happens to be the uh, second largest uh, establishment in Korapur has a maximum number of PLHIVs diagnosed in the last year. About 20 PLHIVs were, uh, sorry, 70 uh, PLHIVs were uh, diagnosed in the last year, that is from April 10 to March. And uh, we could also see that Dasmanpur and Vandugam does not have any PLHIVs diagnosed in the last one year. This is, further. This is blockwise distribution of AMPs. Among all the 14 blocks or bundles of uh, Koraput, we could see that the AMC positivity is noticed only in four blocks or cities, Paipari Guda, Kotpar, Jaipur and Simdi Guda, wherein Simdi Guda is the one where we see FC three AMC positives and which is the highest. Apart from that, all the three remaining three districts, three bundles have one each AMC positive cases. This is the summary of uh, the uh, found positive here, and we also have AMP positives here, as you could see. Simply Goda has a maximum number of positives, AMP positives, three cases. This is scale support and treatment. Uh, this is the district headquarters wherein we also have our ART center located, and we have one CCC, that is uh, care support uh, care center that we have one care center in. Uh, Koraput, that is Koraput District Headquarters. This is blockwise distribution of free ART registration. Maximum rule is seen at uh, 
Jaipur that is uh, more than 150 cases that is about we have uh, somewhere around 164 cases found in Jaipur for pre rt registered and uh, followed by Koraput and Simligoda where we could see uh, a range of something between 70 to 100 uh, PLHIVs registered for pre rt and as we could see, all other mandals in the district have at least 1 to 35 PLHIV free RT registered, except Banduga, where we do not even have our ICTC established. This is uh, PLHIV who are alive and on ART. Again, I have to emphasize Jaipur uh, having had maximum number of positives, having had ANC, also had maximum number of free RT registration. Hence, it also has. Uh, maximum number of people who are alive and on air. As we could see, this geography, the bird, uh, the belt here we are seeing the Port Pad, Boriguma, Jaipur, Koraput, Mligura. This is also a highway passing as, as uh, we have seen in our, in our uh, presentation in the beginning. There is a national highway passing by here, 43 and uh, 401, which passes through all this. Hundreds. So maybe the, we could also possibly connect it to the highway risk activities. So this is blockwise distribution of PLHIV were last to follow. This is a summary of the uh, ART data, uh, number of ART registered, people who are alive on ART, and total number of energies. We will now see the targeted intervention maps. So this is a maps depicting the uh, TI intervention areas. As we could see, there is one, uh, two TI NGOs, one TI Lepra and uh, TI Ekta. TI Lepra is working in Kotpad, Bodhidharma, and Jaipur. TI Ekta is working in uh, Kotpad and Simli Gudama bundles or blocks. So we now go further and see what is the spread of the HRVs in this. This is an estimate uh, of uh, FSWs in the mandals that we have seen. So, this is the target that we have given based on the estimates. And here we see the actual number registered. So, as we could see, Jaipur, Kotpad, and Simri Guda, we have more than 200 identified and registered HRVs in these three mandals. And Kotpad have about uh, 96 uh, FSWs registered against the target of 72 and Bori Guma we have uh, about 100 uh, plus estimate and we also have a target of 67 and the registration is quite high about 105 FSWs have been registered in Bori Guma. This is the data sheet showing the complete summary of the estimates, targets and registration. As we could see the total overall estimate of the District is 1018. The target was 550, and overall registration till date uh, for the last financial year was 974 against the target of 550. So we will now see the STA maps. This is a, a data uh, reflecting uh, uh, facilities. This is government STA facilities, which is DSRC, and the dots here are. The TI STI clinic, which has TI uh, uh, area clinics, which is specifically catering to the HRVs. Uh, here in Boriguma, we have one, and Jaipur, we have one, and Simli. As we could see in our earlier sites, these are the blocks where we have our TI interventions. Hence, we also have a TI program with a static uh, TI static clinic. We go further here. This is STI clinic attendees overall. Uh, this is the DSRC data, uh, which clearly represents that all these blocks, Jaipur, Koraput, Simrigura, uh, and Putangi, also have uh, cases more than 200, which is uh, like as we could see, the maximum number of cases that we have noted is in Koraput, the district headquarters, that is 963 odd cases have been seen, and followed by Jaipur, which is very adjacent. Uh, but we should also uh, remember the fact that these are the blocks where we also have our TI interventions and registered TI uh, charges of more than 200 FSWs. However, when we look at Potangi specifically, here we do not have any 
HRV intervention, I mean the TI program running here, we do not have any facilities established here except for the ICTC. However, we could see that we have about 294 SDL clinic attendees here in this model in the last year, which happens to be one of the highest among the non-TI intervention blocks. Non-TI intervention blocks showing maximum number of uh, STI clinic attendees, that is potent. So we should uh, consider this as an important piece of information. And uh, we could also see Port Park, Kundra, Dasanpur, Nandanpur. These are the places where we have about 50 to 100 clinic attendees over the period of year. But uh, as you can see, the most important striking uh, blocks to be uh, kept in mind is Jaipur, Korapu, Sindhikura, and Potangi actually, because it's a non TI intervention agent, but still showing a maximum number of uh, STI clinic attendees as compared to the uh, TI intervention agent. This is a block-wise uh, map of RPRB activity in Kolapur district. You could see that uh, most of the RPRB activities are in Kolapur at the district headquarters, and we also have a DFRC, so that should not be a really big uh, concern. However, we could also see that uh, apart from Kolapur, uh, Jaipur, Baiparigoda, Sindhigoda also have shown uh, RPR reactive cases of uh, between 5 to 10 cases. Yeah, this is a overall summary of uh, DSRC data. Uh, clinic attendees, here we see clinic attendees and the RPR react and the positive cases. The blood bank information. So this is how the blood bank facilities are spread across in the district. Uh, here we have our blood banks, one, two, three, four, and then we also have our uh, ORC DD. And we have red ribbon clubs which are quite well uh, spread across in the district. We we'll come down to see the IEC activities and IEC information in the district. As you could see, uh, that all the measures in the district we have something or the other, which is which means like either we have a market yard or a wall writing or a government department having a message, or maybe a coding. So everywhere we have something except for two or three places where like uh, Narayan Patna and then uh, Nandugam uh, are the two places where we do not have any IEC activities. In, including Kundra, uh, we don't have any kind of uh, IEC activities uh, or IEC over there in these three months. So this is one of the uh, slides which is showing us the summary of all the maps that we have seen. Here we could see that one, two, three, four, Five. These five mandals are the places where we have our TI intervention. Here is our TI intervention. The targeted intervention areas are here. And we could also see that we have a maximum number of uh, people uh, uh, with uh, STI clinic attendees. And we could also see maximum number of pre IT registration people who are alive on ART. Or we could also see LFU. RPR reactor. So uh, uh, we, we must remember the fact that this entire highlighted area is a TI intervention area, one, two, three, four, five blocks, and we have hence a uh, good number of facilities happening over here, which means we have ICTCs all across. And in Korapur, we also have an ART center, we also have CCC, blood bank, and most of the facilities are available. And in this block, we also have three TI static clinic for STA services, which are catering specifically to the hepatitis. So now looking into all this data, we are now trying to see what possible actions or interventions can be done in this particular district to further improve the program's impact. So this is what we have considered the options. Baipari Guda is our first option. As uh, we could see, the ANC cases happening over here, uh, which means we uh, understand that the HIV positivity is now entering into the general population. That is, we have ANC positive here. We also have uh, ample amount of 